During the course of the war, there were more than 1,100 Manxmen killed, and it's quite a coincidence, but a very satisfying coincidence, that we've got medals that were awarded to the very first of those casualties and to the next to the last casualty. First casualty died in August 1914, only a couple of weeks after the outbreak of war. Um, he was a Lance Sergeant. Um, he lived at Princess Street in Douglas. He and about 400 men of his unit were mown down. They were literally walking into a barrage of enemy fire. Um, in a cornfield which had recently been cut, so there was no cover, it was a flat field. They just had to lie on the floor and try and take as much cover as they could from nothing. Um, the wounded had to be left behind. A lot of those ended up in the local church where the, 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 uh, the priest, uh, Roman Catholic priest, started to tend to them. The church was then invaded, taken over by the Germans, and. Uh, the priest himself was actually murdered by the Germans. He was beaten to death with um, rifle butts and boots. It's a, a tragic story to a, a brave and honourable man. And then we get the final guy, or the next to the last guy to die, um, died two days before Armistice Day. Um, he was, again, a Douglas lad, uh, Robert Quayle. And we don't know much of the story of his death. He actually died of wounds, which he probably was wounded a few days earlier, but he, he lingered on until two days before Armistice. So you can imagine his parents at home in Douglas realising that when, on the 11th of November when the Armistice had been signed, they'd be thinking, oh, thank God, Robert's coming home. They didn't know he was already dead. And we have a few stories like that where lads died in the literally the last moments of the war. It's such a, such a waste, such a crazy, crazy waste.